Well, good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle Nicole. It is Saturday morning at 8 a.m. And I am up and at them. Just filmed my weekly weigh-in video super late. And I'm just gonna sh take you along with me again on a Saturday, see what we're gonna do. I don't have um, like plans per se. I just have things to do. So I, that's our good day to take you along with me when I don't have to worry about filming in front of other people. So. I showered last night because I did a bunch of landscaping last night, pulling weeds. We're going to do a bunch of that today. I'd like to have a really productive day, but enjoy it. I enjoy being busy. I also enjoy being lazy. <laughs> so today I want to get some stuff done, but not kill myself. Just started a load of laundry, as you just saw. I always do that on Saturdays. Um, and I changed my bedding in the middle of the week, so my bedding is still good. I don't have to do that today. Usually I do it every Saturday, so but since I did it midweek, I can do it midweek next week. So let's see. What am I having for breakfast? Let me turn you around. If you're new here, I follow the Conquer Cravings program on the, I always want to say iTrack Bites. It used to be iTrack Bites, but now it's called Healthy app, H-E-A-L-T-H-I. Conquer Cravings is the old Weight Watchers program, the original points program that first came out, I think back in the late 90s, the one, two, three, turnaround momentum. If you see those, this program is um, like a combination of all of those. So it tracks calories, fat, and fiber. That's what it's looking at. So it's a little bit more forgiving on carbs, less forgiving on fat. If you like fat, this isn't the program for you. <laughs> Um, I don't really like fat, so I don't care. My doctor wants me on a low-fat diet. So my problem is more sugar. I'm not diabetic. I'm not pre-diabetic. I'm not pre-diabetic. I just had all my blood work, but I do have high cholesterol and I have high blood pressure, and it's being treated with medication right now, and it's perfect. I just had a full physical. So, um, and I just had a mammogram, by the way, guys. I meant to tell you that, and it came out perfect. The next two tests I have to do prevent, prevent, for preventative testing, in fact, I should call next week and schedule. I wanted to do one at a time and not get overwhelmed. Mammograms done, came out good. I get that done every year. I have to get, I have to go to an OBGYN because I am premenopausal, skipping you know what's every month. And um, that can affect weight loss as well. But I've had, I, the main culprit is me with the weight loss because I'm not consistent. So I'm not gonna blame it on anything but me. Um, so I need to go to an OBGYN soon and have an annual physical and start having an OBGYN follow me. Um, I've had my doctor do, handle those, you know, since I've had my kids and he even said, yeah, go see an OB. So I'm not having any problems. I'm just going through the next phase of life, which is lovely. Um, and then I, I have to get a colonoscopy. I guess I'm at that age. I'm dreading that. I don't even want to think about it. My husband's been through it and, um, I hate to even say that on the internet, but we're all supposed to get it, so why not? We should we should get them if our doctor, well, let me take that back. I'm not gonna give you any advice. It's up to you what you guys do. I'm gonna do it. I don't wanna do it, but I'm gonna do it. I don't like to give advice on this channel. I'm not a doctor, and who am I to tell you what to do? I don't even know what you should do. So anyway, <laughs> back to weight. Back to weight management stuff, which is why I'm here. Let me show you my breakfast. I'm just letting you guys know I'm following up with my preventative care and um, taking care of those things. So, all right, let's see what I'm having for breakfast. Over here, I have some salmon I'm gonna be thawing from Trader Joe's. I totally forgot I bought this weeks ago and I bought a package of Taylor Farms Organic Caesar Salad. I might have that for lunch and throw this on the grill today. That might be fun to have a little salmon Caesar in the middle of the day. Something to look forward to while I do my lovely pulling of the weeds around our madness landscaping today, which I'm going to be doing. I told you guys, I know it's not good, it's full of sugar, but I do like to have an oatmeal packet from time to time. And it's in the microwave. It would be nice if I'd get it out and show it to you. Um, but this is three bites on the Conquer Cravings program on the Healthy app. Sometimes I just like to have a packet of oatmeal. I also like to make it on the stove. Today I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, zero creamer from a Starbucks, tablespoon of that. I just like a little creamer, not a lot. There's my coffee. And 15 blackberries is zero points. Yes, I did wash and count those. 15 bites. And of course, my oatmeal is in the microwave. And over here are thank you notes. I'm very old fashioned. Does anyone write thank you notes anymore? Um, my daughter just had a birthday. So I fill out the name on the outside of the envelope. 
and I left them out for her and she wrote them all out last night. So those are gonna go in the mail. I just have to finish addressing them. Although I need to teach her how to address envelopes because kids these days don't even know how to do that. And that's the part of it I always do when she does thank you notes. So my mom was strict on thank you notes. Um, I always had to write thank you notes and so I've passed it on to my kids. It's something you don't see a lot anymore and, and, and that's fine, people can do their own thing, but I, I think it's important and so even though it takes work for me to make sure I have thank you notes and stamps and all that stuff, these people took out the time to, to send her a card. Um, so why shouldn't I reciprocate? That's where I come from on that. So anyway, that's my soapbox about that. But that comes from my mom and she's passed away. And so I wanna make sure she's happy in heaven watching me do my thank you notes. And there is Manny. You gonna go downstairs, Manny? Say hi. Yeah, hi. Oh, we love you. All right, guys, let's get breakfast on and see where this day takes us. This is a long intro, sorry. Okay, this is my husband's breakfast. How many people would love to have this? Hot sauce, toast, eggs with all kinds of disgusting yolk going all over, and disgusting spam that was in the air fryer. He's a happy guy right now. And yeah, that's gross. He's happy though. And by the way, guys, he's in way better shape than I am. He gets up on the treadmill and does serious workouts every single day. So you saw the difference what I ate and what he ate, and he's in better shape than me. So maybe there's something to this. Okay, we're at the garden center. We got a bunch of cobblestone um, rocks for our landscaping. Seven bags to get us started for the side. Got a new thing to pick the weeds out of my landscaping. And um, yeah, so we're gonna get started. Bill and I are gonna go to Aldi real quick, go home. And I think we're gonna have that salmon and, and Caesar and brats on the uh, grill for later on, Bill said. He'll have brats, we'll have Caesar. So I'll figure out something out for lunch later. So um, what time is it, 9.30? And um, got some supplies so I can get going on update. You know, we just have to fill in some of these cobblestone rocks. That's what the previous owner did. We don't have mulch, we have rocks. So it's expensive to fill up, but it looks nice and stuff like that. It just needs to be refilled in. So, all right, catch, in, catch up with right, you in a little bit. I'm from the garden center and Aldi, and I'm gonna make a lunch before I go outside and get busy with all that landscape. I got this organic turkey breast. I gotta add up all the bites on this, but this is what I'm thinking I'm making for lunch. A little bit of turkey breast, one of these thin bagel skinnies, so I'll figure out the points, or I'm sorry, the bites on that. Um, Barrett Master always eats cucumbers with Thousand Island dressing. I haven't had Thousand Island dressing in forever. So I'm gonna measure out like a tablespoon of that, if I even need that much, and some cucumbers. And I got these baked barbecue chips at Aldi as well, and I'll have a portion of that. So let me see how many bites all of this is. I haven't made it yet, I'm gonna point it out first, or bite it out first. This is my lunch, it's six bites on the Conquer Cravings program, which is on the Healthy app. This is 28 grams of baked barbecue chips from Aldi. I measured it out in grams. The bagel, the thin bagel, is one bite. I was shocked. The tablespoon of Thousand Island dressing was two bites. Two pieces of the turkey I shredded up there is one bite. Cucumbers are zero. So six bite lunch. Looks good. I'm gonna have this and get outside and jump into pulling these weeds out of these lovely rocks. Okay, I am outside working on our landscaping. I got this tool and has the prong at the end. It's doing real good with getting the weeds and grass out of my rocks. See all my landscaping is rocks. So I need to work on especially that area right there. All around. I need to work on that. So that's what I'm doing outside now. Using my new tool, it's working great. I got a knee pad and I also just planted a couple of pansies in this planter here with my little cardinal that I, I collect cardinals by the way. I love them. Reminds me of my mom and my grandma that passed away. Um, so that's what I'm doing guys. Drinking water and trying to get these weeds out of the rocks. The area around done mostly. I'm a little short on rocks just over there. So I'll have to get some more. Rocks are like mulch, you never have enough. And then I still have to fill in up here and deal with those weeds. But I'm taking a break because I am very tired. This is only the front. I haven't even gotten to the side of the house or the back. Wait till you see that. It's like a lot of work. My daughter Lauren um, is working on some house cleaning inside while I was working on the outside. And I do not make her in, into doing a lot. She just hasn't been doing much lately. So she had some stuff to do. So dishes, vacuuming, 
back up and downstairs, my room and closet, upstairs and downstairs bed, bathroom, wash the floors, clean my car, put away laundry, help with gardening. So she has to do all that so she can go out tonight so she can catch up on some stuff. I've been picking up her slack. All right, it's later afternoon. I'm having some blackberries again, 15 of them for zero bites. Fruit is supposed to be counted, but I scanned it and the berries were um, zero. So I'll just go with it. And then I'm having a little um, rice, what do you call it? Rice pudding. I got these at Aldi today and that is three points. So this is a three point snack and then I've got a LaCroix water going on here. I think I might take another shower. I do need to go out and get a couple more bags of those rocks so I can at least finish the bottom half thing. So we'll hey see. Hey guys, okay, it's dinner time. We got Ava home from work. Took a shower from being all yucky from doing that uh, yard work. We went back to the garden center, got more rocks. So I'll be able, I should be able to finish the front with rocks today or tomorrow and then I just then I'll move on and worry about the side and the back another time so we're having salmon on the grill my husband's having brats um, we're having these roasted potatoes from Trader Joe's that's in the air fryer Ava got that going for me so I'm gonna be having salmon with Ava I've got that on the grill that has salt pepper and garlic on it and then a Taylor farm Caesar salad packet we're gonna have that with the salmon and the potatoes. I think we're having corn also before it goes bad. So filling dinner, that should be good. And um, everyone's starving. So let me get out to the grill and make sure I'm not burning anything. Here's the grill, we've got the corn. I just don't want it to burn, so we're gonna have that. There's my husband's broth and the salmon. I'm cooking that nice from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, they have great salmon. And this is like a little, um, placemat you can buy at the store. They probably have them on Amazon and Target. My in-laws bought it for us and it makes it easy to cook fish on the grill and vegetables because it doesn't fall through. So I'll keep cooking that and we're going to have a really nice dinner and it's really nice out. My husband and my kids got me that white bird feeder. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they got me that for Mother's Day early. So... Lots of work to do in the backyard, but we'll get there, right? Here's dinner, guys. This is a 14-bite dinner. The salmon is six bites for four ounces, so a little different than blue. Normally, that would have been zero, but see how things are different? Um, because it's high in fat, it's high in point, but I'm having six bites worth. Half a corn on the cob is one bite. Half a cup of the potatoes with the peppers and the onions from Trader Joe's we did in the air fryer. Um, those are two bites. And then one cup of the Caesar salad kit is five bites, 14 bites. Um, and I'll talk about my macros, the calories, everything. This was probably the best day I've ever had on this program. I'll tell you about it right after dinner. All right, dinner is all done and I'm just hanging out in my daughter's egg chair. It is so comfortable. Just hanging out and the cats are staring at me like, what are you doing, mom? All oh, right, let me tell you about the rundown of my day. I would say this is the most successful day. Oh, the cat's scratching at me underneath here. What's new? Um, most successful day on the Conquer Cravings program in the several weeks that I've been doing this. Let me tell you why. My macros are almost perfect. So in case you don't know or remember, I get 20 bites per day and I get 35 weeklies. Um, and you're supposed to use your weeklies on this program, otherwise you're not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna have enough calories type of thing. So it's meant to be used. So they say to use 75 to 100% of your bites. So I got into my bites today, I'm sorry, into my weeklies today. So 20 a day, I went up to 27 bites today after dinner and I am full and I'm totally good. So 27 bites, and let me tell you, let me just give you a little rundown so you kind of know what things look like for today. So breakfast was four bites, lunch was six bites, dinner was 14 bites, and a snack was three bites. Total of 27 bites, went seven into my weeklies, which I get 35 to spread out throughout the week any way I wish. Now let me tell you about my macros. For my protein, I got 60 out of 67 grams or whatever you call it. I guess it's grams, I'm sorry. So 60 out of 67. A little short on protein, but very, very close. Carbohydrates, I was at 151 out of 168. Little short on carbs, but super close. 
um, fat. I'm supposed to have 44 grams of fat. I had uh, 50 today. Went a little over on fat, probably because of the salmon is high in fat. I'm actually glad I went over a little bit on fat because I hardly ever get to that. I'm more of a sugar addiction than I am like, I don't like fatty stuff. So if anything I'm bad at, it's sugar. And then um, calories, I was at 1,277 calories and they have my calories set at 1,345. So close to being perfect. I mean, you're never gonna really be perfect unless you like, I don't know, sit there and figure it out exactly. But so close to my macros on everything and I'm really proud of that today. I feel like today was successful. We made a beautiful dinner. My family sat down and they said, mom, this is a good dinner. Everyone is happy. Um, and I got some exercise working outside. So I really enjoyed making this video today. It kept me on track. I've had a rough week. Um, haven't been tracking properly. I track breakfast and then it's all downhill after that. So today I tracked as I went. I made sure everything was separated by meals properly. I was on a sloppy tracker where you just throw it in and you don't care which meal it goes under. I did everything just right today. So if I can try to turn things around, so can you. So we're going to have our days. We're going to have our weeks. It's just the way it goes. And we just have to turn it around. Today is a fresh day with no mistakes. That's what my old boss used to say. So um, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you a part of my little channel here. And share this video if this could help anyone, especially someone that's new on the Healthy Program. And let me know how you're doing down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon. Bye, honey bunnies.